I want to show you the zoom feature. So when you click on, on the right of your screen, you want to click on this icon. And we're going to go to Explore Mode. And that'll give you the 28 times zoom feature. Now let's just show you, see how close it can get to me. Let's see if it can find me. All right, you can see me down there in the middle, which is crazy how far away I am. I'm about a half a mile out, and you can still see me somewhat on the screen there. So that's not bad, considering how far out I am. Let's try to get a little bit closer. Not a bad day to fly. There's hardly any wind. We're expecting some snow tomorrow here in Ohio, so I want to get out and fly today. All right, we're about 2,500. Well, let's go back a little bit. There we go. Let's see how close we can get now. That's crazy. As you can see, I'm in the center of the screen here. That's about 2,500 feet away. Let's uh, zoom back out again. Zoom. Okay, let's get a little bit closer. Let's to... Two thousand feet. Okay, we're out 2,000 feet. Now let's zoom in and see how, how we look from this angle. Wow. As you can see there, it's pretty good. I'm impressed. Uh, being this far out, this is um, pretty good. And as you notice, when you go between the four times zoom to seven, it switches cameras. That's good to know. I like having that dual camera on here. Okay, let's do 1,500 feet. But you can see how far out we are. 
going to get that close to an object pretty good. Still good at 62% battery. Been flying now for almost 12 minutes. It's fighting a little bit of wind. Okay, that's 1,500 feet. Let's do the zoom again. Bring the gimbal up. Move it over a little. Okay. Now let's zoom back out again. Let's just keep going towards us to about 1,000 feet. Nope, that's too much. Hold on. Let's go back. There we go, 1,000 feet. Okay, we're using nine times zoom there. That's 1,000 feet away. Okay, let's zoom it back out again. Now we're going to do 500 feet. Okay, now we're going to zoom in from 500 feet away. Now you can see me real good looking at my controller. Okay, now let's unzoom it. I'm really impressed with that zoom though, that's nice. Let's just burn off some of this battery while we got it up there. And then we'll try the return to home. This is a nice uh, soccer park and dog park. It's one of my favorite places to fly just because you have all this open space. I really like it. I just can't get over how great that zoom is. It's incredible. 52% battery. Still really good. Wow, talk about search and rescue, that's pretty good. That's why you buy this drone for the features that it has. I hope the uh, Mini 3 Pro has the waypoints, because I do enjoy using that a lot. It's very nice to have.
Let's see if we can, from this angle, see how close we can get to where I'm at. Gets those cars pretty good. Takes to get used to this zoom on here. As you can see, I'm right there. That's not even using a 28 times zoom. There you go. And the sheriff's leaving. That's another good thing about drone technology. You'll see a lot of sheriffs will use this technology to search for people and to help save lives during uh, hurricane season and tornado season. It's really great to have, especially with this Zoom. Like, I could literally, like, find people, help them out if I had to. But if you're using the, uh, the RC controller, you just use the right uh, gimbal wheel and that will help you uh, use that zoom or you can tap on your screen from the one the two the four and then that's when it switches to cameras so let's un bring her on back got a little bit of battery to spare Let's go ahead and use it up while we're out today. It's a nice day to be out flying. Still good at 41%. Got about a... Hmm. Under 12 minutes left of flight. We've been out now almost 20 minutes. So, depending on the smart features you're using, and if you're uh, flying on sport mode, it will impact the battery. So, keep that in mind. It says they advertise 45 minutes. I'll keep an eye on that battery the more I use it. Hopefully the longer flights I get. We're going to try the sport mode on the way back. So we're out. Just approaching half a mile now. This is a cool little overpass to fly over. Not bad, folks. Not bad at all. This Mavic 3 can handle wind, just like the Air 2S can. The Mini 3 would probably struggle a bit today. But we're going to go ahead and try the uh, sport mode now. See how well it does flying into the wind. We're at 36% battery. It's a cool little water trail through here. It 
signal strength is excellent on this drone. All right, down to 33. Let's fire up the sport mode and send her on home. Okay. Got that going. Let's go. Here we're going about 42, 43, 44, 45, 6. We're capped at about 46 miles per hour. Obstacle avoidance goes off when you use sport mode. It's a good point to remember. You will not have sport mode, so. Yeah, we're coming in pretty good. Bring it down a little bit. Come in pretty fast here. There we are. That's sport mode. We got it up to 46 miles per hour, which is really, really fast for a drone. So, please, if you enjoyed my video, Hit the thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. I always appreciate my subscribers. Hit the all notifications bell to be updated on my latest videos. And remember, always fly safe. This is Jay Bird Drone signing off.